Hello Junk Wax Investor Community. Hope everybody's having a great day. Have another exciting video for today. We're starting off the first video of the monthly series looking at the top sales in June. This is the top 25 vintage cars pre-1980 that sold at any of the auction houses that I look at which is quite a few of them. We have some pretty awesome cars on here so let's get right into it. Starting off in the 25th position from 1951 Bowman. We have Mickey Mantle's Rookie Card, graded a PSA 6. This card sold on eBay for $34,600. The pop of this card in a 6 is 188, and there are 252 graded higher, with the highest being one Gem Mint PSA 10, which has not been sold in any of the public markets. There's no record for it. For a PSA 6, this was the second highest sale, with the record being $100,000. That's a big difference, and that was back from February. In the 24th spot from 1921 E121 American Caramel Series of 80, we have Babe Ruth with Babe in quotations, graded a PSA 3. This card sold on eBay for $36,100. In a PSA 3, it's a pop 7, and there are 15 graded higher, with the highest grade being 1 PSA 7. This is the second highest sale of a PSA 3 with the record being $58,380 from October of 2020. In the 23rd spot from 1933 Gaudi, we have the Babe Ruth number 149 card, graded a PSA 6. This card sold at Golden Auctions for $46,800. This card in a PSA 6 slab is a Pop 34 and there are 58 graded higher with the highest being two PSA 8.5s and there's also a PSA 9 with a qualifier. This sale was a record sale for a PSA 6 as the previous high was a dollar short of $41,000 and that one was from January and there's another one that sold in between then in May for $38,400 so it's kind of been up and down and up again. In the 22nd spot from 1932 U.S. Caramel, we have the William McKinley President's Card, graded a PSA 1. This card is sold at Leland's Auction House for $48,014. It is a Pop 1 as a PSA 1, and there's only one higher graded PSA 4, and there's only been two graded by a PSA. This is a record sale, as it's been the only sale of this card. In the 21st position from 1933 Sport Kings, we have Babe Ruth graded a PSA 7.5. This card sold at Heritage Auctions for $49,200. This card in a 7.5 is a Pop 2 and there are 25 graded higher with the highest being two Mint PSA 9s. The record sale of this card in this grade was $58,800 from May and that was for the other 7.5 graded card, not this one. In the 20th spot from 1910 E98 set of 30, we have the Ty Cobb red background from the Black Swamp Find, graded a Gem Mint SGC 10. This card sold on eBay for $50,101. This card was given a PWCC Superior Eye Appeal label for, for obvious reasons. Nobody would argue that this would be the top 5% for his grade, as it is stunning. This card is actually a Pop 2 and a Gem Mint SGC 10 slab, which is hard to believe. However, if you haven't heard of the Black Swamp Find, it's a very interesting read. I'll put a link in the description below to an article that explains the amazing collection of cards that was found. Alright, moving on. In the 19th spot, we have a T206 Sweet Corporal Eddie Plank White Border, graded a poor PSA 1. This card sold at Golden Auctions for $50,400. This is a record sale for a PSA 1 with the previous high being $41,345 from back in 2018. In a poor slab, this is a Pop 8 and there are 39 graded higher with the highest being 1 PSA 8. In the 18th spot from 1961 Fleer, we have Wilt Chamberlain's Rookie Card graded at PSA 8. This card sold on eBay for $53,103. This card in a 
This card in an 8 has a pop of 180 and there are 80 graded higher with the highest being 3 Gem Mint PSA 10s. This is the 4th highest sale of a PSA 8 with the record being just over $144,500 from back in March. But that record sale was a PWCC Superior which is top 5% I appeal for its grade. So it definitely had a bit of a premium. All right, moving on in the 17th spot from 1954 tops, we have Henry Aaron's rookie card, graded a PSA 8. This card sold at Golden Auctions for $55,350. Hank Aaron in an 8 is a pop 193, and there are 41 graded higher, with the highest being two Gemmin PSA 10s. The record for this card is $96,000 from back in April. In the 16th spot from 1959 Bazooka, we have a Mickey Mantle hand cut card graded at PSA 7. This card sold at Leland's for $58,363. This hand cut mantle is a pop 1 and there are none graded higher. This was a record sale as it's been the only time that this has sold. Definitely something new that I haven't seen before. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen any of these hand cut Bazooka cards before. And while you're down there in the comments, take a minute to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Alright, let's move on in the 15th spot. From 1957 tops, we have Bill Mazeroski graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold on eBay for $60,000. This is a record sale with the previous high being $24,000 from May of 2021. And this card in a gem mint slab is only a pop of two. In the 14th spot from 1975 tops, we have Robin Yount's rookie card graded a gem mint PSA 10. This card sold at Leland's for $66,198. This is a record sale for this Hall of Famer's rookie card, with the previous record just being over $60,000 from back in December of 2020. This card in a gem mint slab has a pop of only six. In the 13th spot from 1933 Uncle Jack's Candy, we have the Babe Ruth King of Swat card graded at PSA 3.5. This card sold at Golden Auctions for $68,400. This card in the 3.5 is a pop one and it is the highest graded. And this is the only sale of this 3.5 so therefore it is a record by default. And in the number 12 spot from 1976 tops, we have Walter Payton's rookie card, graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold at Leland's for $72,983. This is the fifth highest sale of this card, with the record eclipsing $124,000 from back in March. Definitely a big difference there. This card in a Gem Mint slab is a pop of 51. In the number 11 spot from 1963 tops, we have Pete Rose's rookie card, graded a mint PSA 9. This card sold on eBay for $77,114. The record for this card is over $131,000 from back in 2016. And this card in a mint slab is a pop of 30 and there is one higher graded gem mint PSA 10. Hello Junk Wax Investor Community, I'm excited to announce a new affiliate partnership that we have with BCW Supplies. You'll save 10% off your next retail order of sports car supplies. Use the link in the description below and on checkout use the code JUNKWAX10. Alright let's get into the top 10. And First up from 1952 tops we have Mickey Mantle's rookie card graded a PSA 4. There was no high grade 52 mantle sales this month. This card sold at Golden Auctions for $85,200. This is actually the third highest sale of a PSA 4 with the record being just shy of $149,000 for March. This card has a pop of 196 and there are 506 graded higher with the highest being three Gem Mint PSA 10s. And none of those PSA 10s have ever sold in the public markets that we've seen a record for. Definitely would love to see one of those on one of these lists someday. Alright, in the number 9 spot from 1960 Hemet's Journal, we have the Cassius Clay 
hand cut rookie card graded a mint PSA 9. What a beauty for a hand cut card this old. This copy sold at golden auctions for $96,000. This is the fourth highest sale of this card with the record being $210,000 from February. This card in mint condition has a super low pop of only 10 and there is only one higher graded gem mint PSA 10. I think this was actually a pretty good buy with there only being 10 of them and this is considered Muhammad Ali's rookie card and there's only one higher graded PSA 10 like $200,000 sounds about right or more. In the number 8 spot we have a T206 Ty Cobb Red Portrait graded a PSA 8. This card sold at Leland's for $101,590. This is a record sale for a PSA 8 with the previous high being $66,000 from February of 2019. This card has a low pop of only 3 and there are none graded higher. In the 7th spot from 1948 Leaf we have the famous Jackie Robinson rookie card graded at PSA 7. This card sold for $109,200. This card in a PSA 7 slab has a pop of 74 and there are 53 graded higher with the highest being 7 mint PSA 9s. No gem mint cards out there. The record for this card is $402,000 from March and this sale was actually the 5th highest sale. So definitely a bit of a range here over the last little bit. In the number 6 spot from 1978 Crack Campionato. We have the Diego Maradona Rookie Card, graded at PSA 6. This card sold at Golden Auctions for $113,160. This is a huge record sale for this card, with the previous high being $22,600 from September of 2020. In a PSA 6 slab, this is a Pop 1, and there are none graded higher. This is the best Diego Maradona Rookie Card out there. So let me know what you think down below. 22,600 September 2020. Now we're at 113,000. This is a pop one and it's the highest graded one. I think this is going to continue to go up if we see it for sale again. And the number five spot from 1952 tops. We have Jackie Robinson graded a PSA 8. This card sold at Robert Edward Auctions for $138,000. This is the third highest sale of this card with the record being $384,000 from April. This card has a pop of 44 and there are 14 graded higher with the highest being 11 mint PSA 9s. No gem mint 10s out there. In the number 4 spot from 1979 Opeachy we have the Great Ones Rookie Card graded a mint PSA 9. This Gretzky rookie sold at Golden Auctions for $150,060. The record for this card is $265,000 from back in April and it has a pop of 89 in a mint slab and there are two higher graded gem mint PSA 10s. In the number 3 spot from 1952 Burke Ross we have the Mickey Mantle photo graded at PSA 8.5. I like this one because it's the exact same photo from the 1951 Bowman rookie card that we had in the 25th spot. This copy sold at Golden Auctions for $168,000. This is a record sale with the previous high being $21,600 from December of 2019. In a PSA 8.5 it is a pop 2 and that is the highest grade out there. In the number 2 spot from 1952 tops, we have Willie Mays first tops card graded a PSA 8. This card sold at Golden Auctions for $228,000. This is a record sale for this card with the previous high being just under $187,000 from back in May. This card in PSA 8 is a pop of 59 and there are 15 graded higher with the highest being one gem mint PSA 10. I find it odd that a lot of these places list the 52 Tops Mantle as a rookie card in addition to the 51 Bowman. However, with the Willie Mays, they didn't list it as a rookie card. They just listed it as the first Tops card. All right, finishing things off in the top spot for June from 1916 M101-4. We have a Babe Ruth rookie card graded at PSA 2. 
This car sold at Clean Sweep Auctions for $328,800. This is a record sale for a PSA 2 with the previous high being $110,612 from back in November of 2019. This card is a pop 2 and there are two graded higher with the highest being a PSA 7. That's a big difference in the grades. Alright, that's it for the list. Top 25 vintage cars that sold in June. Total is $2,344,736. This is actually down quite a bit. One of our lowest totals that we've had so far this year. However, there wasn't any really big headline auctions with uh, big vintage cards in June. So uh, I think there's a bunch coming up in July. So we will see what those end up. All right, stay tuned next week. We'll come out with the 80s and 90s and the modern Monday and Tuesday kind of back to back. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content.